Hello and welcome back to this series on PyViz for the digital humanities. And in the last video, we started actually ma mapping out our data for Alcuin's letters. We had a map that looked cool, but it wasn't very legible. And the reason why it wasn't legible is because it was not easy to discern between different pieces of data. In this video, we're gonna be producing a map that looks like this. The exact same algorithm, the exact same data, except the map looks one tiny little bit different. And it's because of this change in color. Now we see that we have an edge or a node color for uh, our letters, this, this blue color. And then we have a node color that is this right here, this kind of pinkish color for our manuscripts so that we can actually discern between different pieces of data in our network map. So what we're gonna do in this video is work with this and actually create this map here. And we're gonna work with our existing functions that we worked with in the last video. We're gonna specifically work with our map data function. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be passing in and creating some new arguments. The first one that I want to pass in is an argument called f underscore color. You can name this whatever you want. Just make sure that you're consistent. Another argument that I'm going to pass in is ms underscore color. This is gonna be the color for our uh, uh, letter nodes and the color for our manuscript nodes. And the other thing I'm going to pass in, and this is going to become more relevant later on, is uh, another argument called edge color. And what I'm going to do, and I'll paste these uh, these hex decimal codes in the description below, but I'm just going to copy and paste in these colors. I've experimented a lot with different color schemes, and for whatever reason, I keep on coming back to this scheme I've developed. Um, it's quite nice. I think the colors blend well and they work well and they contrast well. So now that we have this information, all we're going to have to do to actually change the color of nodes in our map is pass in very simply the uh, edge or sorry, the uh, color on the node add node function. We're going to pass in the argument and our color is going to be our, in this case, our ep color. So what it's going to do is it's going to simply read in uh, this number here. And we were putting this as an argument in our function so that other users can use this exact same function and simply pass in a different argument. We're going to do the same thing here with our add node function for our manuscript. And what this is going to do is when it populates the graph, it's going to do so and actually pull these arguments and map in these specific colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here for our edge. And this is gonna create simply an edge color. Now, if we ever want to actually change any of this data, all we have to do is just change it by passing in a new hexadecimal code down here by just simply saying ep color equals and then whatever color that you wanna see it change to. But for right now, I've got it set up in here as a default. So now when we map out our data, bring it down here, it goes on my uh, fifth monitor screen. We see it's loading just like it did last time. And now we have a new color scheme. No longer do we just see a bunch of blue nodes. Now we can see uh, differential uh, things happening. We can see the separation of manuscripts from letters and the data. But one of the things that's still problematic about this graph is it's still not very legible. By that I mean we can do more to uh, separate this data. In the next video, we're going to start working with trying to change the actual shape of these nodes so that letters have one shape and manuscripts have another shape. That's all for this video, though. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below and uh, keep on listening.